hello everyone. Uh, I received um, some feedback from students that they want me to explain uh, with some simple numerical example how this kernel-based support virtual machine working. So um, I will show in this short uh, video how to do that and, and how to solve simple example with the kernel-based support vector machines. As we explained in the lecture that uh, the support vector machine can be obtained for the kernel base by using this formula by, by maximizing the dual form of the optimization problem and we have this, this constraint that should be like uh, achieved and uh, then we replace uh, this uh, uh, inner product by, by the kernel uh, function. After solving this problem, actually, we will have what? We will have uh, the, uh, the Lagrange multiplier that they can be, if the Lagrange multiplier is outside this value, for example, if Lagrange multiplier is less than zero, then we will put this Lagrange equal to zero. And then we will, we will have only the support uh, vectors, only the, sub, the support in, uh, entries of this um, uh, uh, optimization of problem. So uh, this is actually very useful as we explained in the lecture. So sometimes you have like thousands of entries, but maybe the support vectors are quite small. Maybe it can be just tens of them. So this actually, well, that uh, those will be, these Lagrange multipliers will be greater than zero. But if also the Lagrange multiplier is greater than C, is uh, the compromising factor, as we explained in the lecture, then we will take C as a maximum value. Okay, so now um, let us go so we can build our uh, like discriminant function in this way. So it will be the summation of alpha t. Alpha t, as I said, most of them will be zeros. And this R of t is for in the case of uh, two classes case. So it can be plus one for if the, if uh, or minus one, if it's a plus one or a class two. Then we have this kernel, kernel function that it is given usually. And actually in this kernel function, we give only those entries which where this alpha is not zero. With alpha is not zero. Let us see with a simple example how this could work. Okay, I will jump all these because this was explained in details in lecture, in the recorded lecture. But let us start with this example. This example has been added. So now we have this simple two dimensional classification problem. So you can see here that we want to use a radial basis kernel uh, and to find uh, how to use this data to classify a new input. This new input was not part here of this uh, data that we have. And assume that we made this uh, uh, calculations and we found uh, this is the Lagrange multiplier for each entry. So this is, uh, for example, the first entry here is 2, 2. It was because it is, remember that it is supervised learning. So we know that the label, so this was in class one, one minus two was in class two, minus three one was in class two and so this is the number of entries that we have so we have seven entries has here and then we found those the Lagrange multiplier associated with these entries as 0 0.5 minus 1 minus 8 minus 3 minus 0 0.5 minus 9 and 3 so what we will do here every Lagrange multiplier which is less than zero or equal to zero then we put it zero so we ignore all these uh, values in this uh, uh, in the data and we take only the support vectors which is uh, this one 0.5 and also the last one is also greater than 0 is 3 but it was given here in the in the example that our penalty factor c is equal to 0.9 so in this case actually we, we have to use 0.9 for this for this uh, Lagrange multiplier and also it was given here the support vector machine uh, it has this uh, radial basis kernel with uh, s the, the, the variance of this kernel is equal to 1 okay now we we have to build the discriminant function so this is the, the, the discriminant function that we need to uh, to apply as you can see here so this is the discriminant function it was, it was, as it was given and explained also the lecture so it is calculated as the summation of alpha t rt k xt and x 
we have, as I said, that uh, alpha t, all of them are zeros except for two values. It was for the for the first entry and the seventh entry. So the first entry we have alpha one is equal to 0.5, and it was a plus one, which means that r equal to plus one. And the second value, uh, this r equal to, uh, alpha, the Lagrange multiplier equals three, but because the maximum is uh, uh, 0.9, c equal to 0.9, the penalty factor, so we put it 0.9 here, and because this is this was in the class 2, so it, it will be minus, so we use minus 1, so minus 0.9k x7 and x. So actually this is what we, we distribute once we make the learning, so we what, what we use, just this kernel with those entries and those Lagrange multipliers, this makes it much much easier than other machine learning algorithms. And now we just substitute. So we have x1, it is given already in the table, so you can find that it is 2, 2, and then we, we use it with the, with the new entry x1 and x2. It will be given in this, in this way. And now we substitute for this x3 and minus 1, and we found that the discriminant function was greater than 0, it is 0 0.03. Once we get a 0, then we decide that it is in a class 1. So it is as easy as that. This is a very simple example how to use this support vector machine with kernel function. So we actually you, you, um, assume that you have data about, uh, let's say, uh, um, uh, any practical problem that, that, that you have, a lot of data uh, in Excel file, and you want to classify them into two classes or, or more. Then we use this uh, to find the, the Grange multipliers for this which is greater than zero. And also, uh, once we found them, then we can use these support vectors with the kernel, and then we keep them in some file, and this could be used for the learning uh, verbs. And that's all about this short video, how to use and how uh, to use this support vector machine with kernels. Thank you.